You know, time and time again, I keep seeing people use jig heads with a wire keeper, with a lead keeper, with um, a barb or whatever. You know, jig heads like this. And honestly, guys, you are wasting money. And I'm about to prove that you need to be using jigs without a keeper 24-7. I, I don't care what type of jig, how big a jig you are. You're ruining the plastic and you're wasting money. I mean, you go to work every day just like everybody else. You're buying these jigs. You're catching one or two fish off of it and you're having to throw it in the boat, throw it in the trash. So let me show you how to save some money. Get some barb -less jig heads like we sell here at Crappy Man Jigs. You know, got to throw my little self-promotion in there. But before we get to, into today's video, this video is brought to you by Waterlands Fishing. The best sunglasses you can get for any type of fishing or going out. These glasses per, go over your entire eyeball. So it blocks out sun on 360 degree angles. So you're able to see your forward facing sonar 100% better, which you'll see in a video coming very, very soon. So check out Waterlands Fishing, use code Turner Fishing to save you 15% off your entire order. So go out there, support the channel, support me, get you some badass sunglasses. But let's get back in today's video. <clears throat> so what do I mean by you're wasting money? Well, actually I'm about to prove this. I'm not gonna be a very long video, honestly, but I'm going to prove that you're wasting money by buying jig heads that have a barb on it. So what we're gonna do to show you, you know, this is a fresh jig. You know, it ain't even been taken off the sprue yet. So we're gonna take it off the sprue. I'm gonna keep it in the camera angle. Keep it in the camera angle. So we're gonna talk this whole time so I can't edit this out. We're gonna go in the top. We're threading it in. You know, everything's good so far. Good, good, good. All right, now we're gonna push it onto that keeper. So not, not only does that look retarded. Do y'all see that? Okay, now, say, you get a bite. You know, the jig's eventually gonna get pushed down. So the jig's pushed down. So now we're gonna take this jig off the hook. What happens to the jig head? I mean, do y'all, I don't even know if y'all can see that hole very good. There's just a gaping hole. So now, you know, you catch a fish, you've got to re-thread this jig. So we're gonna re-thread it and re-thread it and re-thread it and re-thread it and eventually it tears so if you catch three or four fish or you mi even miss fish the jig's being pulled down it's supposed to keep it up there but most of them don't just be honest guys i mean you're just you're ruining jigs so now let's take one of my jig heads the newly released 124 ounce jig head I don't know if y'all ever heard of a 124 ounce jig head. It's basically in between a 116 and a 132. So it's in that sweet spot for casting. There she blows right there, a 124 ounce. Uh, size six hook. I think the other hook is a size six also. Let me double check that real quick while we're making this video. So we thread that bad boy on there, let's see. Nope, size four hook on that one. But that, I mean, the hook size really don't matter. I got a size four hook on another one. But, all right, let's thread it on one of my barbless hooks. And look at there. It looks like it's supposed to. It's not all bunched up, looking retarded. And if a fish bites it, what's it gonna do? It's gonna slide down that hook. You're not making any bigger hole. You push the jig back up, all right? Now you catch a fish and, a, and it's like this. Man, you just take that bad boy, thread it back on, you're good to go. If it, if the, the jig gets ripped up, I'm gonna rip that thing in half. Now look, you could take a barbless hook and I'm telling you guys, I will thread a jig any kind of way I can once I get a fish to bite it. Because A, I believe you get more bites once something bites. 
And B, you can ask anybody I've ever taken on a teaching trip, a live scope trip, whatever. I use probably one to two jigs for a whole limit. Every trip. I don't I don't care. Like my jigs last. You may have some Bobby Garland, some, you know, uh, Mr. Crappy. I don't even really know other brands of jigs because I've been using mine so long. Uh, I've got some competitors around here that make the little minnow, but I mean, they can only catch maybe two fish off your jig. I'm just saying. Anyway, guys, get you some 124 ounce. They're on the website now. Barbless jigs. We've got 164, 132, 124, and 116 in the size four hook on the website. You know, that pretty much covers everything, you know, from super finesse to casting. Uh, we're probably not going to get any bigger than that. This should be our jig head lineup from now until, you know, we get tired of doing this. But don't go out there having jigs looking like this, guys. Go catch you some fish. Go grab some jig heads.